Hello? Hello, Eddie Cat? You still with us? Hello? Yeah, it's, it's alright. I'm not going to complain. Eddie it's Cat? pretty good. You still with us? Just let me kill this volume off. There we go. Do you want to hear myself? Enough of only one of me is enough, I think. Let's close that off. Yes, uh, Strand Deep. Good game, actually. I think you'd actually like it. It's um, it's only a sandbox, so you're not playing more than yourself, like as in one player. Uh, that may change, I think, in the future, as they always do. But uh, it's only um, beta for the last four years, and it's actually quite cheap. I think it's about twenty bucks or something still Australian. So. Or maybe 24, I don't know, around that sort of money. So it's like a de development price, it's not a full release price, which is nice. Uh, for us poor people coming off of Christmas and paying back stuff. So yeah, um, it's a progression, and I think you probably like that, you don't mind the progression sort of stuff. It says horror, honestly the horror is just a, a shark, well more than one shark, sharks that can attack you. You land in the ocean and you're... Um, Got to find the raft to get on the raft. It's a bit like, it's a bit like forest without the horror. Uh, well, could he get it with the steam money my brother got? Yeah, it's like small change really, but yeah, it's good. And you got any questions? Just ask us. I mean, I've uh, progressed with everyone watching and telling me what I'm doing right and wrong and whatever else. So, yeah, you know, it's good fun. So here we are. Look at the graphics. I mean, there's a sea. The ocean, whatever else. Um, as the weather changes, weather patterns are awesome. I haven't had any issues with any kind of uh, screen tearing, lagging like that. At this stage, there is bugs. I think there's always bugs with games. One of the biggest ones I've come across noticeably was um, uh, if you get capsized, don't try and get back in the boat if it's upside down, which is you start off with this yellow one over here. It's a rubber dinghy. Don't try and get into it. You've got to drag it to an island and get on the island and then turn it over. If you try and do it in the water, you end up going through the world like you do with Ark. You know, if you're sort of like a ghost mode, you fall straight through. It's stupid. But, uh, yeah, it, it, if you have the music going, the music's pretty calming. Um, I haven't gotten really sick of it yet. I think I will in obviously a few more hours, but, um, but it's not that bad. But the music changes like it. It's almost a little bit like the Jaws music, but it's not the doing it sort of thing. You know, it's uh, you're like, oh, hang on, music's changed, something's going on. A bit like Ark, you know, but the music's not so annoying. I don't know, I find it quite annoying the Ark music. Probably because I watched it too many, uh, listen, listened to it for too long. So you start off, you find an island, you make one of these up, just like you do in the forest, in order to save it um, or sleep. Um, and the idea is, is that shipwrecks around the place, like, uh, I don't know, you can see one there in the water. Um, no real problems with, um, and yeah, you could do that too. Um, no real problems with, uh, that that's bad, that's, <laughs> I'm going to restart that. That's a uh, poison, so I stepped on this weird looking sea urchin here, if I can get that in there, there you go. So yeah, it's horrible looking, seriously crazy looking thing. That poisoned you. And like the forest, you've got the watch, so F for the watch. And it's just clicked to go through, and you see I've got a poison effect on me. That stays on me, and it just obviously makes it very hard to get healthy. But just for the sake of the exercise, I'm just going to go over and show you. Swimming's pretty good. The underwater stuff looks pretty, pretty gnarly. It's not really fantastic, but it's pretty good. Like, it's subnautical sort of level, a little bit less. We go over to the um, sunken ships, and your breath is really low. Obviously, you can increase on that as time goes on because you get underwater breathing gear and whatever else. I haven't done it yet. Uh, and so I've got a torch, so I'm going to turn the torch on so I can see what I'm doing. There you go. It's a big bloody, what do you call it? Steve Irwin. I mean, a, what, what do they call him? Horrible looking thing. So you get inside these wrecks and you go through these doors and make sure you check all the cupboards by pressing tab. Nothing in that one. Nothing. Oh, there's a part there I haven't taken. Um, and there's also, a, if I'm not mistaken, there's a cupboard there, but we're going to go back for oxygen because we're going to drown otherwise. Drown and get poisoned, so what the worst time. There's a shark, but it's too small. The big ones you've got to worry about, they're the, they're the real ugly bastards. Yeah, that's a big one. He's got me now. 
So I'm bleeding now as well as poison. Let's see how big that one is. Ooh, big tiger shark. I don't know if there's anything, and here the music's changed. I don't know if there's any real uh, orientations out here. Um, it's not like one extra deadly shark that kills you with one bite. I found it sort of has to hit you a few times. I'll try and get back down there again. I'm bleeding. And, oh, that's a that's a lionfish. That's also really bad, but it makes uh, shark repellent. So the sharks won't be around those guys because they don't want to get near them and get poisoned. So, and that's Mel you can hear outside getting her dog. She likes talking to a dog. All right. So anyway, you get the idea. And so yeah, his breath is, yeah, it tends to cough every time you come up. Uh, yeah, it is dark. It's, it's reasonably dark on most of them. I actually was thinking about turning it up. I might do that still. That beeping noise means that I'm not doing good. Yeah, everything's really low and I'm about to die. I'll probably pass out in a minute. But that's alright. I'm not going to go and go too far in this thing. So what I'll do is I'll change the option. Uh, graphics. I've got it all on flat out. Build a view. Ultra. Is there one for... Oh, there's one that actually brightens the screen. Motion blur. anti sensing, Water. High. Uh, fixed frame rate. Vertical sinks off. Ultra. No, there's no real general, maybe. Oh, you can do motion sickness effects. So you can turn that right down. I didn't notice that. Uh, HUD controls. No. How about input? That'll be a mouse. No, there's no real way of... Well, I can't see any way of changing that. Color, oh, color profile maybe? Vibrant, let's try that. Um, apply. Not sure if that makes any difference. Uh, back, see if I'm dead. I'm not sure if that's any better or not, but it's night time so it's meant to be dark. Oh, look at that. Oh, freaking out. It's going to go on record. How many days? 40 days. 40 days and I died. First time was uh, 4 days, then 8 days, and then 40 days. So I'll get the gist of it a bit more. So the killer parts is obviously drowning. Um, those weird ass looking, uh, alien looking starfish with 8 tentacles. Um, sharks, obviously. Those uh, manta rays don't hurt you. Well, I haven't had one hurt me yet. Um, and what else is there? Um, no, it does not got saved where I started before, like this. So if you if you do it, um, you know every time you come back in, uh, you can resume. But you don't have saved points. There's only one saved point by the look of it. So if you want to save it, save it to a shelter, so forth and so on. When you first start the game, um, which is cool because you you learn <laughs> real quick. Yesterday, yesterday's stream, oh my god. No one was watching, thank god. But I'm sure someone will watch it back and have a comment about it. I actually, um, I've got a boat here, right? I've made a pretty decent looking raft. And you learn about construction of rafts because it's to do with uh, buoyancy. How's that ocean? Is that too loud? Nah, cool. It's a bit loud on my ears. Um, the buoyancy of the, of the raft is detrimental to what you've got stuck to it. So where you get these ships, they have things tied in which you can cut off, such as tyres and 44 gallons. And under this one here, I've got um, a bo bowie, buoys, buoys, whatever they are. There's like five of them in a net. They're actually quite buoyant as well. So it takes a lot to sink this, so I can go over and get those big doors and put it on this side because there's a lot of buoyancy there. But what I was going to say is I've got a motor. Uh, which is fairly late in the game because I've been playing for 40 days. Um, and the rudder. So in order to go anywhere, you've got to take that anchor up, drop the sail, right, put that back up, and then grab the rudder real quick and start ruddering around. It's really peaceful because there's no noise, you know, it's great. Don't have the motor going. If you're stuck and there's no breeze or you wanted to get out in a hurry, you can use the motor or you've got enough fuel to, to do that. I've only got a quarter of fuel, so I haven't been making much fuel. Um... But I'm not sure if it was a bug or something I did. I'd have to go back and watch it. I reckon it's either something I did or it was or it was a bug. It's more likely something I've done. I got when you're finished, when you're looking to stop, you don't just run over and grab the 
the anchor because all of your stuff falls off the front or it just you know like runs into it you got to go over and raise the sail so it slows right down and stops pretty quick actually and then drop the, the anchor when you're ready to stop so there's a purpose to it you've got to go from rudder because when you're on the rudder you're stuck to it you can't get off there's no way unless you look at the rudder and hold e you're off of it don't fall in the water obviously it's probably doing that because it's not going forward um so you, you hit the you hit the anchor you hit the sail and go straight back to the rudder well i hit the anchor hit the sail went back to grab the rudder and ran off the edge <laughs> and so the boat just went and the boat's faster than you can swim and i was watching it go off and i'm swimming and i'm swimming and i'm thinking the only way this is going to stop is if i run into an island and of course the islands are so sporadic you can see two islands there in the distance i can see them quite well you might not see them as well on your screen um so you can actually see that if it doesn't hit one of those islands it just keeps going and i don't know what happens at the end of it and i'm ru i'm swimming and i'm laughing away thinking oh my god this is so embarrassing um and it was at the end of skipping four islands and i had good like i had heaps of potato there hard to find which makes the fuel um and i had really good resources of lashings lashings are really really uh needed in this game so it's made up of four um a fiber i guess you could call it like the other one uh yeah it's a little dark for you because it's night time i'll wait till it gets daytime you'll see everything better then um and i had all this gear and i had like five or six boxes on here and i was carrying another four or three and it was floating perfectly and that's when i did it i put it put it on there went over there the last island coming home and it just took off and i'm like oh my god there goes all of those resources on that boat in front of me and i cannot catch it there's no way and so i just um quit the game and just reloaded back to where i was back on this island again like i just did before that was the only only thing i could do because I, I don't even think you'd ever get that boat back it'll just keep going and, and it takes a lot to make rafts like um a bit of exploration but the flooring itself takes like about 14 sticks per quarter so and you're making these little things up here. These little quartery things here. And you're sticking them together like there's about, I don't know, 10 of those under that thing. Um, between uh, tires so it floats better because these don't float very well. They just make up the middle of it. And then you've got to put four on top of that, right? So 14 sticks in that. One of these logs gives you four. And you don't want to cut down all your trees because then you don't have any coconuts. Um, before you can make water or meat you know so it's, it's one of those progression sort of things where you pick it up as you go along some of the easy necessities are, are easy to explain to to people if they're looking to start it um, but it's even even really easy when you've got someone um, such as the guys that, that uh, come into the screen into the stream and say oh did you know this this and that and whatever else and you're like oh i didn't realize that and just like any other game there's a few things you don't pick up as easy um, that people are hateful like good at explaining for you that's why i run this one as a blind playthrough pretty sure once i play it a next time round, um it will be played obviously a bit different i'm turning that around because if you put the sail down it goes straight into the into the island if you don't do it that way around but i'm not going to go anywhere yet because i haven't looked at my my watch for a while i'll get out of here looks like i need a feed and some water before i go anywhere so I'll get some water off these guys that I made. And uh, nothing on that one. Oh, that's great. So I've got a lot of uh, things to do here. I think I've emptied these guys out of anything I need. And it's a, it's a drag thing like this. You know, like it's a bit difficult sometimes to put things down. I mean, you can pick them up, but then you can drop them. And they don't have a drop in the right place. So you've got to move them around to have them stack. It actually took me a good part of about 10 minutes to do this inside my house <laughs> with all these these crates there's my little stove it's a bit like ark but it's no dinosaurs there's nothing you can tame um and the pinnacle part is uh the gyrocopter and i made one of those um and that's pretty cool it's fun but it chews juice really quickly so you need to have a lot of petrol to run it i'd expect petrol and plus one in your in your inventory or maybe two if you're going to go use it it's very it's reasonably quick probably about as quick if not a little quicker than the uh what do you call it yeah it does fly yeah it's like uh battlefields you just take up and 
you know, you get used to your controls, whatever. I did it, I just did it for a bit of a joke before I, I, I saved it and I thought, I'll oh, just give it a go. And I stuck all my petrol in it, and which was one quarter, put it off empty. I flew to the next island, which was, which you probably still can't see. I mean, pretty sure you can see that one there, just the outline where my dot is. But that one there is really close over there. So I flew over to that one, I landed, and I was out of petrol. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. I have to leave it there now, but I've still got nothing to make anything with because it's all on this island, and I left it all behind for the gyrocopter. So I think you've got to pack a lunch. You don't want to go over there empty-handed, otherwise you're just not going to come back. Or you could swim back, and I, I did that for a while because I lost... I actually tried to get in the raft while it was upside down, and it bugged out. And I thought, if I get back to my island, maybe it'll just appear. I was so far away, I actually swam three islands... And I thought, it's just a waste of time. <laughs> Wait, this is taking ages. People are going to come on and go, what is this guy doing? Um, so I just stopped it and started again there as well. So I've done it a couple of times. I've stopped and started a few times. But um, nothing really major. You know, it's just streaming. You know what streaming's like. It's always fun. No trouble is to show everyone how, how much of a noob you are sometimes. Uh, now, I need to get some water, so we need to go get some... Um, some lashings now, I can get that from... Uh, I don't really need to carry my hoe with me, I'll get rid of that hoe. Because that's only good for the garden. I'll drop that. Dirty hoe, right. Garden, I've got um, some fruit. And I've got some uh, p uh, pie pie, which is... Um, if I poison myself, I could put that together with water or a coconut and I can disinfect myself. And I'll get that fruit. I'm going to eat it too because that will bring all of my stats up. And it goes off you know, reasonably quick, so it's no sense in really keeping it. Where's my stats at? So you go, look at that, let's put it right up a fair way. So fruit's really good for you. But I still want something to be uh, happening while I'm traversing the world. So we want to make all these things into little fibrous leaves. This one here makes heaps of them. The yucca plant. There's two of them on my on my island. It's still dark, so don't worry. It's not the game's dark. It's still night time. If I put the torch on, you'll see how bright that is. It's not always like this. It's just like that because I started at that time of the day. Here's my other yucca. Where you're playing Ark to? You're playing on somebody else's server or? Um, the other half server. I think I've got enough there. I'll just go load up those. Uh, where am I? There. I'll go load up my... Um, what this does, you put leaves in the bottom of it. The idea of this game uh, for water is to put fibrous leaves at the bottom, uh, somehow they generate some sort of heat from the atmosphere, I guess. So much of them at the bottom. And what actually happens is I think it works off of um, humidifying, where it just sort of runs into there from the air, um, which is an interesting concept. It's not really one that I would use if I was stranded. Um, if I was stranded, I'd definitely be using the, um, the boiling method of uh, condensation off of the seawater. A lot more effective. Uh, the watch tells you everything. Uh, where are we? So it's uh, 85 degrees, unfortunately, in Fahrenheit. So I've got to work out what that is. Um, I've did survived 40 days. It's the 9th of February. I've got past Christmas. Uh, which is always a good thing. You know, like out here I've got no credit cards either, so you know, no debts. It's always nice. And I like to try and keep things in order. Put the trunks over there. We'll drop all these ferret, these leaves. We don't need to carry all these leaves around. Alright, so I think I'm pretty much good resources. Probably a little bit more water would be nice. Maybe two more. What I normally do, would I'll, I'll actually um, fill up my flask before I go, which is this thing here, so that when I'm overseas I don't get the, the water sign straight up. Or if I do, I can just drink it. That's got like about three or four, um, because you could call them 
markers in the watch to keep you hydrated. Well, it's funny. Um, I think it's actually bugged uh, at this stage because ZZ at the end there has been like that for the last 20 days. So you can sleep. Like I can sleep and get the day. That's a good idea. I can get the daytime back for you. Sleep. I think that should bring me back into the day. There we go. Oh, got some rain. Awesome. So the rain is massive for the garden. Because usually I'll fill it up. Must have just started. Because uh, it's such a pain to have to fill the um, thing up with the water bottle. Um, to my knowledge, I don't think there's anything that actually catches the rain. Trying to GTO hash it out. I think it's maybe go and check it out. I don't know. And so you can make, obviously, I'm up to the hide. You go right up to clay. So let me go in the menu. So this is one thing another streamer didn't do. You got buildings. This is a whole sort of cycle here. I didn't realize this until about 20 days in. I thought we only had these three to choose from, which was weird because I was thinking, oh, yeah, just craft. Or I can go to consumables. And I realized there was actually vehicles, which is pretty much your yeah, raft making. Um, your gyrocopter, which I've already done. You can make more than one. Um, and into your um, uh, your boat stuff like your anchor and your sails and engine that's the deck so that's putting things on top of the buoyant stuff you make so you have to put that on there pretty much in order to um, uh, in order to put things on it I think otherwise it slides off I think or something like that there's a reason for them ah uh, fake nails <laughs> Um, and so you're farming, uh, you can make crop plots like you can do an arc and you can actually grow your own gear. Uh, there's a storyline, but I haven't really tried any of it. Uh, consumables. These are all things that you can make with, uh, it looks like a, a tropical island, uh, what do you call it? Mocktail, but you make water skins and that sort of stuff. So your levels are, I think, originally um, sticks, planks galvanized iron which is what you pick up from other places got a bit of galv there and then up to things like containers you can take container walls off if you hit the container enough um, and then up to clay and then to brick so if we go into buildings you'll see what i'm talking about so you can get you can go a fair way you know i want to go right up to brick see what it looks like because you're making foundations and uh, sorry foundries and whatever else like uh in arc so driftwood wood foundation plank foundation corrugated iron as i said uh, that's gone straight to brick, so I'm guessing that must be what clay is for the for the house. Outside of that, clay is used for a lot of other things, like uh, in, order, in order to make that uh, fuel steel that I did over there. That converts potatoes into fuel. Uh, that needs a couple of clay, and the clay is mined out in the water, which, surprisingly, making you uh, uh, in the shark's nest, so... Are you lagging out or is it my net? No idea. Not sure. No one else is really on to tell me much more, I don't think. In there, but um, I'm sure someone will tell me if I'm lagging out hard. I don't have... Or do I? It, uh, it's one of those games that's that heavily immersive that you can't multitask out without having to minimise the game, which is, for mine, as you know, it's quite a, a heavy system does take a few minutes to swap out, so I try and avoid it if I can. But in the daytime, so we go over here in the daytime, you'll see what I'm talking about with the... Um, that's the raft there that you get. And there's an island over there. you got to keep looking out into the horizon to see islands. Start heading to them, and of course go for an island. Well, that's the horizon to that one, and so forth and so on. I think there's quite a number of them. I think there's like 24 islands all up. And on the load screen, I noticed if I... Um, uh, if I could show you, I think it's just on the, um, on the, what I'll do is I'll save it here because I didn't do too bad with water and all, and food, let me save it, and then I'll quit to the desktop, I'll show you this picture, see the picture there, that, that one's actually an official picture, and in that, in that corner, the top, can't really see it on here, so, just above me, uh, just up there, see that that one just there? 
that looks like a rig or something, like an oil rig. It doesn't look like an island to me. So I'm guessing they must be on the outer edges. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure. I haven't done the snoop on this one, so it might be me. Although I've had lots of people join um, the last few days. I've got about uh, 10 user, ten followers in this game, um, and no one's ever said anything about it lagging. So, geez, I look red with that because I've got like this new desktop that's like a sunset that I captured from it. Uh, can I go over to that? Let's see if I can go over to it so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, desktop. Where are you? Gone? No? That one? No, it's a bit like that one. It's not that one though. No, that's an entertainment one. Yeah, that's my desk. That's the wrong button. I'm gonna kill that. Um, maybe I don't have one for the desktop. I thought I had one set up for it. Um, I might not have set it up for that. Let's try this one. No. Oh, there we go. So that's a picture from uh from the game, like sunset. The sunsets are really nice in the game. It's not really high resolution. Like it's not four K. But it looks pretty cool. Um, go back to that screen. You think it's your net? Someone watching some uh, some movies over there? Maybe. Where's Joe? He's not in the shed, is he? <laughs> Makes my ear in here. Sorry if it's a bit noisy. is picking it out. I might sound a bit weird because I've got the aircon just taking some hot air out of me. Please, good. Look, oh, it looks good. Yeah, yeah. You and your nails. God. How can you type with nails that can't do that with? I might have to start using that excuse and just start showing anyone it's my nails because I'm just about to type it without the nails. Or fingers, or thumbs, so fingers. Is it? But yeah, it would be pretty surreal for me. I'm just gonna switch, switch over to my uh, special chat desk. I don't like the look of that. What's happening with that backdrop? You notice why it's doing that all of a sudden? What side's at that side? What are you doing? Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm sure you can put up with that. Yeah, it does sound like water. That's just my. I've got the mute on the tar, on the uh, peak of the mic, so you'll only hear it as I talk. So I turn it off. I'll sound normal, you see, which is cool because it does, you don't have that noise in the background all the time, and I don't talk constantly, which I probably should do, um, in in the channel, um, so that people don't get uh, annoyed by my voice. Even I annoy myself sometimes. Um, it's very hard to uh, to talk when there's no one around. I have to say the stream deck's cool. It's good fun. Yeah, it's a fold in the material. I haven't. What I probably should do is actually make a conscious effort to pin it flat. But it drapes like a. Because it's draped off the wall, it drapes like a, a piece of material, um, and so you've got that corrugate in the material, and you can actually see that on there. But you know, normally I don't have that issue, so I don't know why it's doing it now. I must have—I do have some sort of sticky on it. <clears throat> Might even try it on. See if I can actually adjust it a bit for you. So I'll move it out. See, it's actually a bit, a bit of material. But my, my, um, there we go, there's a stick there. My shadow makes it a different colour as well. Probably can't hear me, I know. Oh, I'll oh. oh, stuck it to the wall. That. See if I can get the effect right. 
See that does. I got a little black spot on the tape in there. Little black spot there for now. Better than a big area that's taking it all up. Oh god, sorry about that. Yep, you need to fix the load music. What's wrong with my load music? Alrighty then. Like this one. Oh, that's pretty funky stuff, I think. Load music. You mean my uh, wait till cast music? You lost me, girl. Just gonna reload the game. Have that on for a minute. It's still quite warm in here. Little room. No, no. How they mute the recording. What are those? I gotta set up so I can mute it straight away. Oh, um, yeah, see, interesting subject. I was just talking to uh, Avenger about that one. Um, well, actually, I was in with his uh, last 100-odd viewers and stuff. So he's a big uh, streamer. He's a bit of a uh, aspiration for me. Um, inspiration would be the word, not aspiration. Um, he, uh, he understands it as well. So with Twitch, and you should know this too, I guess, but you're probably not... You probably haven't been on for that long. With Twitch, it's it's a live view format, and it's supposed to be treated that way. So you can do any music you want. Terms of agreement is you can't record. So I've got 83 or 82 recordings in there, which will be 100% nothing muted, because the music that I've got, outside of the game possibly, I don't know whether they've done it with the game or not, but the music that I play is not copyrighted. I got it from a free site that says... This is not copyrighted. It's just a loop. Um, you're able to get four before you have to pay for it. So I just grabbed four simple tunes that I thought was good. Um, when I say simple, I like the heavier metal anyway, so I just got them. Um, if I started playing things like, um, you know, uh, Panic of the Disco, whatever, in the background, then you can still hear it while we're still playing now, but, of course, it won't let you hear it on the record. So it'll mute the actual stream so you can't keep it on their server but a lot of the streamers that are doing this are based on the fact that they can uh that they have a, a live stream and i've noticed a lot of them now aren't keeping them either um professional ones that are actually partners not just um affiliates which you know how many users off of that i think i'm only about six users off affiliating um, they're actually swapping back again. They're leaving all the all the videos drop off, and so when you go to their site, and everyone suggests that you don't see their videos. You have to wait for them to come on. So there's that little extra leader. They go, oh, we've got to see how good this person is. He's got an affiliate. He's you know half decent at what he does, so forth and so forth. He doesn't need to keep recordings. And the bottom line is, they're always playing music that's copyrighted um, to a certain degree. Obviously, not something that's uh, swearing flat out and bad about uh, race, racist re remarks and stuff. Um, so they just see it as the fact that um, they don't want to play the game uh, with music in the background for recording reasons. They only want it as a live feed, a live uh, tutorial or, or entertainment like radio. You don't listen to the radio on a recorder or on a, a record. You don't play it back unless you've got something like The Goon Show and it's funny and it's made specifically for that, which is what I think YouTube's mainly for where you can just do some wacky stuff with soundtracks and whatever else. Um, it's more along a, a format of casting like radio or TV, you know, um, live. You don't, you know, no one records the news to watch it later. It's supposed to be what you're doing straight away right now. 
So I get the idea. You know, it sort of makes an it makes sense to me now. I've been doing this for so long, um, a good six months now. I can understand what they mean by it. Before that, I thought I was crazy. You know, why would you do that? You never get to play it back again. No one wants to see it. I used to cut it all up, put it onto YouTube because no one wants to watch a four-hour cast or a four-hour stream. You know, cut it up in one hour. So I did that for a while. That was a lot of work. And I just got to myself, well, well, should I bother? I'm just going to play straight to see how many more users come along. I'm not going to get extra uh, subscribers, obviously, because I'm not affiliate, but followers from recordings. Uh, they're not going to follow it. It's very low that they'll do that. They'll only do it while you're live because they want to catch up with you at the times they want to watch it. So, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's, I guess six or one half a dozen the other. Whatever you feel is the best way to do it. I'm not that fussed about it anymore. I'm actually tempted to put music in the background, but then you got to make sure that the music's what they like. You, know, you turn into a radio station, which I've done, um, and you want to make sure that whatever they're listening to is something they want to hear, otherwise they're just gonna, you're going to lose them as a user as well. So, look for my watch. There it is. So I've got a bit of old fella syndrome there. So I need some more. I've been crapping on too long without eating stuff and drinking stuff. Uh... Didn't get much out of that rain, did I? Usually that rain will come along and it just just be a drizzle and everything fills up and it's like, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Steel's full. So we're going to drink two of those. We're going to put that in my hand. I'm going to take the rest of it into this. No, I can't take any more. Uh, I've got to look away. Uh, I need some food. I might go catch some fish, I think. Fishing spears, did I? No, that's a crude spear, don't that. I don't even know what fishing spears, I keep breaking them. Uh, don't need the mallet. Um, don't need those two, I should put them away before I lose them. So look, which one have I got? That looks good enough for me. All right, cool. Put that away so I can come home and if I'm poisoned, it, it doesn't kill you instantly or reasonably quickly. It's actually quite slow. Um, the kill rate on poison, which is nice. I guess the more times you poison, maybe it gets worse. I don't know. I'm gonna get myself a sardine or two. Fishing's pretty easy with a spear. You just keep using the same attack um, spear thing to take them off the end of your spear. Yep. Easy, but you know, I can't do it still. And I'm going to go with the fact that once you get further into the game, you're going to get bigger fish. You can't get clownfish. They won't let you get them. You go out further and of course you're susceptible to being attracted to sharks. But you get more fish out further. Here's a, an archer, a little bit better feed. And I'm drowning myself here. Let's go up, get some very fresh air. Oh, that should be enough. If you don't eat it, it goes off, so there's no sense in getting a crap load. Um, so far I don't know of any way of preserving the meat in any way other than just keeping it as a fish because there's sort of a bit of a bug with that. Same with pigs, you get pigs on some of the islands to get the actual uh, leather, to make leather stuff. Um, the pig is really, really heavy. Um, I found that out the hard way because you put them on your on your boat and the boat all of a sudden just sort of decides to sink or you know, goes up to ankle deep even though you're supposed to be floating. doing this because it's easier not to lose it through the floor because I'm pretty sure you, you go through the floor and he thinks this is disgusting because he does it every time Drop that on there. 
I'm not going to eat it. I've done that many times. Uh, you know, light that stove up with some kindling. Light, oh, light. Yeah, keep, keep clicking to do this. This stove is the best in the game. I have to say, when you don't have it, you've got to just keep trying to put meat on top of the fire. It's not easy to do. Or you just you cook it one at a time. So you played some music and then you got it uh, muted, did you? Guessing that's what you mean? Because I did that with the forest when I first did Forest VR. I put on some I know, Dido in the background. Only for about, I think that song goes for like uh, two, two or three minutes, but they muted me for five. So yeah, they pretty much killed the gameplay of the tutorial off. <laughs> Same size stick every time too. No girth, just uh, a real thin stem. Which I'm sure that's what uh, Trent would say if he was playing it. There is, however, another game I think that you and me should probably invest in. I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to try it first before you go and do anything. But unless you've already got it, which I don't think you do, it's a game just developed by um, two or three guys. It's not like a big company, apparently. Um, and it's like this, it's it's a survival, uh, but you're riding horses uh, and you're killing bears and whatever else. And it's got, a, um, I think, rising in it as a word. I hear that ding, fries are done. Um, and that goes off wherever you are on the island, which is a bit unrealistic, but that's a lot. Um, yeah, and it, you can play a multiplayer, so I can set a server up for it. Um, and it's like full on building, like we're talking. It's a cross between Ark but Sims at the same time. So you can make a full castle out of like bricks and so on. People can help mine and that sort of stuff. Big windmills, a whole town of people, you know, um, of, of things, uh, full multiplayer. Obviously you can do it sandboxing as well. And it actually looks pretty good and it's got really high or, or big, great big positive uh, remarks, the last five of them saying they can't believe that such a game has been done like it has with such little amount of um, uh, teamwork that the people that have done it um, are so on top of things that they're doing everything right. You know, they've just put another add-on to it, which is not a viable add-on, it's part of the game, that you've got human rogues. So while you're playing it, instead of like Ark where you have Tyrannosaurus Rexes and Raptors coming at you, they actually have... No, they actually have... Um, other NPCs coming over to try and rob stuff from you and stuff, which is actually NPCs, which just sounds really cool. So I'm, I'm, I'm interested to give that a go. No, no one knows about it. It's, it's a really hard one. It's based on Life, Life is Feudal, but it's definitely not that game. Life is Feudal is more like this, I think. I'll just do that up. Beautiful. Um, so my fire's done. I don't usually let it go like that until it goes out. I like to keep some some wood in my fire. Uh, I'm going to have to get some more leaves, aren't I? There we go. Right next, because I'm not going to get any water if I don't start feeding it. It's a bit of a grind when you first start off, but it's really worth it after a while. You're like, oh, look at that. Do this, do that. It's a sense of achievement. So it's not life is futile. The word rising is in the actual title, and it's a picture of a pickaxe. Um, and it doesn't look really, really uh, aesthetically fantastic, but the gameplay looks really good, and all the very positive feedbacks that's been on there, it's all very, very positive, is all about how good the gameplay is once you get used to what you're meant to do. Like, to be able to kill a bear, one guy's put on there, I didn't realise you drown them, or you can drown them to kill them. So it's actually got that element in there. There's no bugs where they just go straight out into the water and they don't die and then come back out again. They go in the water, they die, you know. This game has that bug. You have um, a couple of um, uh, boars on one of the islands, well, actually a few of the islands, um, and they'll, they'll run off into the water. And you're, I remember standing on one of the rocks before looking over and thinking, 
what is that in the water? You're like, there's a black blob running around thinking, oh, this is something I haven't found yet. It was just a pig <laughs> under the water, which is, yeah, as you well imagine, unrealistic. How's that looking? All right, I'm not sure why I'm not feeling too good. That's weird. I think it might have been... I might have left it at that. I might have got bitten by a shark and then left last night. I had a four-hour stream the other day. Rising World, that's the one. Have you got that? Gotta check that out, I reckon. Gonna need to check that one out. It's not VR, which is a shame. That's what I was looking at for at the time, VR game. There is another one called uh, Survival VR. There's been a few updates to that, but that's got quite a number of bugs in it so far. So I'm just letting that one go for a while. Oh, actually, you know what? I should bring some crates with me. I'm gonna go empty handed. That'd suck. Go all the way over there and have nothing to put things in. Yeah, exactly. Those are the two I looked at. This one, this game here, and, and that one on the pretense that it's only cheap. Which I think is cool. Actually, I need that one, so I have to take that. That's my survival box. I might have to empty these out under the floor. Don't need a fishing spear where I'm going. Don't need a rock. No. I have heard from one of the other streamers that plays Survival about the, that title. But I haven't seen the gameplay yet. Was that a little bit like uh, Seven Days to Die? Or am I thinking of something else? Yeah, I was just a little concerned there for a while. I thought, well, why she, wasn't she streaming? I haven't seen her on for a while. Is something wrong? Is something going on terribly long, wrong for you? So that's a bad choice, obviously. I need to take the uh, anchor up, put my sail down, and grab the rudder real quick, wherever it's gone, over here. And start getting away from the wreck! Oh, it's just easier to um, let it go there, but now th there's a trick to this too. You don't want to get up off of the rudder and then try and move it in the water without popping the sail up because you move it out of the water and it just takes off and it's gone with the wind. Gone with the wind. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. I'm going to go out of the water and drag it by right clicking. If I can. What I can do here, if I really wanted to, is I could have just used the motor to back it up, but I'm not going to bother using my petrol if I can help it. And the music hasn't changed, so I don't think there's anything around me, so let's go. Alright, where are we going to go? Where have we been? We've been that way. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Turn this corner. I dropped a box off the raft the other day into the water and went, oh no! And it was full of stuff because I ran into a wreck and it just fell off the edge. Yeah, I'm sure you don't. Ah, oh, did he? Ah, oh, that's sad. sad to hear, man. Sorry to hear that. So, yeah, this is reasonably quick. It's a lot quicker than using that other thing. You don't ever tire from doing your paddling on that uh, rubber ducky one. You just keep going. You don't actually have a tire meter, which is nice. You just keep going. Um, but it's nowhere near as quick as this thing. And the outboard's probably twice that again. It's pretty fast. So I'm sort of hoping I can get a few um, potato plants going and just go petrol all the way. That'd be fun. Let's see if I can find that. Outrig that I showed you on there, that picture. Eh? What a shame there's no adjustment for brightness in that. Let's have a look at that again. Maybe you have to do it outside the game on a different menu. 
I'm not sure if I've been to this one. So I'm guessing you can hear the, mu the music in the background. It's like pretty tranquil sort of a... There's, there's two other... Well, there's about three tra tracks in there. One of them sounds like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy because it's a banjo. The other one sounds like uh, Saving Private Ryan. It sounds a bit sad. And then you got this one's reasonably tranquil. And of course, then you get one with a shark nearby. This one's like harp music. So it all looks good in the hood because... Uh, the music hasn't changed. Yeah, I have. Yeah. It's off now. Sometimes I forget it. I'm sitting there. Oh, gee, was it so cold? Dopey bugger, it's got the air con going. And it's actually a pretty, pretty quiet one, that one's pretty new. Just sort of picks it up. And it needs to be near the window because of the actual exhaustion thing, you know. It's got to exhaust the hot air out. Otherwise I'll put it outside the window so you wouldn't hear it. Music just stopped, I thought it might have changed. You see, you see this master here, that's a good example that there's actually... A sunken ship and that could be quite big and some really cool your loot on that and i've been doing lots of them that's why i've got the gyrocopter so quickly music stopped for me all i can hear is seawater i tell you what when the swell picks up too i would imagine some people may have a bit of trouble with uh, seasickness there are some tires over there let's pull this up when it gets there Interesting. Oh, I must have been here before and put those tires there. Yeah, I've been here. This is where I lost my I lost my box. Have I got room for one? No, I don't. I'll drop a few. Where'd that go? Don't tell me I just dropped it off the edge. Oh, it's underneath me. Um, there's certain ways you want to drop boxes too because um, if you if you right click here, it's for some reason it t tends to throw it. Uh, as opposed to putting it down, but if you if you uh, press Q when you've got it in your hands, it just drops it instantly down. So, but I dropped a box down here in the water, and there was a shark down here, and I couldn't get it back. So I'm gonna go back in there and hope the music doesn't change. Oh, that's a shark. That, that's a good start, wasn't it? Straight into a shark's mouth. You hear the music? Bomb, 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 bomb. Now that's my own fault because I didn't put the the um thing down the anchor all right so i'm not going to go any further than that because he's just going to make me my life hard so what we'll do is see if we can sail out of this i don't know whether we can no i think it's going to get stuck okay drop that sail and putting things on the deck makes a big difference too if you drop it in the wrong place um it unequalizes the boat and it lifts off to the left and it just keeps steering in that direction as well so always good to be careful where you place stuff you hear it you hear the music i turned it down because one of the guys said it was too loud when i had the motor going oh, we're going to start this up i'm going to back up with the motor because i'm not going in the water with all that guy's out there And we'll stop there, and we'll take the uh, we'll take the next island because I've been to this one. Uh, left, don't hit the rocks, don't hit the rocks. Come on, I'm not really good at sail. I'm not a very good sailor. I figured this out the hard way. I've ran into so many things. I oh, made it. Give myself credit for there. Drain out the sail. Now, let's go somewhere I haven't been and see what's past this island, because I don't think I've ever been past this island. We can find oh, something over there. Oh, no, that's just a bad spot on my monitor. That's where I sneezed earlier. There we go. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy.
Gotta love Hitchhiker's Guide of the Galaxy, eh? Oh, that, that looks like a very bushy looking island over there. Let's go over there. I'm guessing you see that just past the crate now? Yeah, you can. So it's a little dark still, obviously, on your screen, but daytime will come soon. That's a crate uh, the, where I got those walls from. Another one. There's heaps of them around. And you can make a house out of them, like walls and doors, but you can't make a foundation with them, so... I'm guessing you make clay wall, a clay foundation or a brick foundation and just does different colours so you can see it from a distance because it's orange. They really do stick out. Yep, oh, the music's changed. He's in here somewhere. Where are you? Can't see you. I'll turn a bit more. Towards that island there, I reckon. No, he must have took off. I must have just passed him. Here we go, we've got uh, a sun rise, I think, somewhere. That looks really cool too if that comes up. We'll see that come up in a minute. Sunrise. And the sunset. I've got lots of potatoes in this island, that'd be nice. Sucks how I found one island with lots of potatoes and then I lost it. Lost my raft. So uh, April's turned 16, she had her 16th birthday last week or week before. So that's it, my youngest is now a teenager. Is that like 24, 22 Kathy, Ben's just turning 18 in April and April's just turned 16. It's Kathy's birthday tomorrow by the way, if you didn't know, actually officially. I don't think she's going to do anything big. She, I think she wants just a family get together on the weekend. Well, this is a very bushy looking island. Hopefully there's lots of... There's lots of masts around it. So there's a lot of sinking, sunken ships. That also means probably a lot of sharks, but... You know. I'm a bit of a pessimist. There's a sunken ship right there too. Let's pull it up here. Like that down. Let's go have a look. Now obviously sharks don't attack you in the in the um, shallow waters as much as they do in the deep waters. So you're pretty pretty uh, unfortunate to get Gone by a shark in this shallow water. Well, that can happen, I suppose. Sunrise coming up there. That's pretty cool. Nothing in this wreck. Usually they're boxes full of stuff. At the end of these ones, sometimes. What is it? Oh, that's just an urchin or something. <clears throat> oh, you step on crabs, they hurt you. I'm not sure if they take a bar away or they get close to taking a bar away from you. This uh, plant here you can make into something. Uh, there's a tarp over there, I think. Every island I've found so far has got two tarps on it. So I think uh, pretty uh, commonly you can start on any island in the whole game, randomly. There's a yucca yucca, I'll take the leaves off that. Oh, that's right, better drop me boxes. I'll drop them here, I reckon. Got no room in my inventory. Stack them up, there we go. These now. Fall inside of these bloody bushes too, it's a bit of a pain because you can't get in there to get them. 
and they're like rocks you can't go over them they, <laughs> you've got to jump them it's pretty stupid another bug not a major one really you can put up with it that's a fruit tree nice that's what i want one piece of fruit that's all i got are you kidding me cheap is that off or not i should probably check that first Kara fruit oh that's a different fruit hmm I might keep that fruit just in case. I might be able to plant that and actually make more. Now the the potato is a big leaf, big green, dark green sort of leaf. Um, I'm going to um, this bush is another yucca. Early in the game, you get so annoyed with how much uh, lashings you need. You gotta look everywhere for lashings to make stuff, so you, you think it's like gold to you. After a while, you're like, oh, for goodness sake, more lashings? Gotta make more of them? And it takes four of these things to make the lashing. And now I've got so much, because I just keep getting them everywhere I go. This can give you uh, stones, and stones are also hard to come by if you've uh, not collected them. They don't tend to, well, I haven't seen them respawn very often on the island either. Uh, I might be wrong. Um, I don't see it respawn very often. Um, or it's a very slow time, let's put it that way. These rocks, if you find them under the water, they give you um, the clay you need to build with. Uh, or to, to make um, bricks into. I'm really after potatoes, that's what I really want. It's interesting to see a broken tree and you know you haven't been here before. A little eerie as well. Let me see, where are you, Mr. Potato Head? Oop, over that. Now, we'll do the internals first. We'll go around the inside of the island. So I seem to find it seems to be more often to find them in the middle of the island than up the edges. So far. So it doesn't look like I'm being proven right this time around, but we'll go outside and check it out. Go around the edge of the island, hopefully without stepping on any snakes, because there's snakes as well, sea snakes. And they give you a nasty old bite as well, with a bit of poison in it. Well, I wouldn't say nasty in the, uh, as opposed to what you get over here in Australia, but um, it certainly hurts. And doesn't let you, or constricts you ability to get healthy again until you get rid of it is that my house it is too I'm actually not as far as I thought I was huh. right, well, I may have been to this plant place before that might be why I can't see anything valuable be worried about that wreck over there. I don't think I'm going to go right out to that wreck. I think I'll go out there with the boat if I'm going to do that. It's a little way to go with uh, Mr. Sharky offshore. It's sort of the leaf we need, but I think that's attached to that plant. Yeah. Alright, let's go offload what we have. That in there. And all of these. Stack of 20. Uh, don't need to look in there. Pick them all up. I'm feeling I've been here before, so I'm not going to bother too much about. Checking this place out, I'm going to go a bit further up. Up river, or in sea. <laughs> That's a word. Now, where can we go? Seems that that's... What did I say it was? That's my house. Over there. Um, we're going to go further out this way, I reckon. Uh, any rocks there? See how good I am at getting around that. I 
don't think I'll do it. I think I'll run in. I'm gonna run around. Oh. Look what we got over here. We got Mr. Nasty waiting for me over here. We have two. Yeah, that was a dolphin. Now that's Mr. Nasty. Having said that, we are backing up with the motor. Far enough. I don't know. Oh, there's something else that straightened me out. That was nice. I don't think I'm going to make a pass without barging. Beautiful. Look at that. Just made it. That looks like a big ship over here. It's a few masts. Oh, that's two ships. Look at that. We'll avoid those masts. I think I ran aground on some. I did not turn it around like that. I don't know what that happened. Try that. Now let me go. Yep. I must have clipped a rock. Do do do. See you, Mr. Shark. Have fun. Take care now. Bye bye, Ben. Let's see what this, this island's got. Still with us, Addy? Or have you left me? chop there. Bit of a swell. Just in the Lulu. Ah, uh, cool. I don't know how long you were there for. Not sure if you heard me saying about Kathy's birthday tomorrow. this uh, island got in store for us it's got one big wreck there no nah, I don't think so I think because it's only just a 22nd or 23rd or something I think she's not gonna do what she did last time obviously for a 21st time for the old Hitchhiker's Guide music A little way out, but there's a lot of rocks here, so I don't really want to get stuck on a rock. I should think I'll be alright. There we go. What do we got on this island? Any piggy wiggies? Lots of crabs. Interesting. Empty coconuts. Empty coconuts. Maybe I have been to this island. Someone's been here drinking coconuts. That's a no, it's not. Close to a potato plant, not quite the same. Yeah, kindling. Campfire. Oh, I reckon I went this way once before and I was lost. Because I had to make that up, I was dying. Well, there you go. 
There you go. I think I got bit by a snake here too. I think the snake is. Yep, I can hear him. Where is he? Where are you, Mr. Snakey? That's the worst kind of snake, really, the one you can't see. Where are you? I'm going blind. Head towards the sand that we can see then. Must be up in the in the brush there somewhere. Um gonna drop all my boxes again. Oh, not my spear. Probably gonna need that. Alright. Of that blank scrap. And that plank scrap. Um, I'm at a point now where I can probably make the machinery for the planks. But I haven't done it yet, so I'm gonna I'm still gonna collect them. Plus you've gotta get trees to make the planks, so monkey. Are you calling my daughter a monkey? <laughs> oh, some galvanized iron too. I haven't even picked that up before. Come on, just give me some potatoes for goodness sake. Just a couple. That's all I want. What fuel for my helicopter? Fuel for my helicopter. No, there doesn't seem to be any here. I think I might have already got them from here anyway. Alright, I'll go back and get my boxes. So I could just pretty much uh, run the entire island like this. Probably gonna step on a snake. And there's no. A buggered bar, if you know what I mean. Oh, there he is. Don't like snakes, so I'm going to kill him for no reason at all. If I can hit the side of a barn. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> I moved my mouse when I did that. Gotcha. Ref refined spear kills them instantly. I'm not going to bother about skinning that. You can't get anything from it. Oh, I get meat. But... Whoop de doo. No, the empty coconut. Oh, no, I see. You mean the big monkeys around? now? there's no monkeys that I know of. Well, I haven't seen any yet. Now, where's my island? It's right back there, I think, isn't it? Pretty sure I went north, so... Or south. Let's go around this island. About running aground, hopefully. Good time zone. Adjusted part of your day. What? 
Ah, uh, there's a rock there. Did I miss it? I did miss it. What? What are you saying, Miguel? And you get wreckages in the middle of the ocean too sometimes. You go past, you look over here and you can see the roofs. So I'm guessing that's sort of more in-game play. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Get some really good morning shots. I've got three of them so far. Not going to get wet. I need to get some water. So what I do here normally, um, I found out if you eat more than... Oh, Tamir. Sorry, man. I didn't realise it was you. I thought it was Addy. I've been talking to him for like an hour nearly. Um, good morning here. Okay, yeah, well, it's uh, 10.30 p.m. here, so I'm not sure. So it's the morning over there. How, how early in the morning is it there? Seven AM. You got up early, did you? Is that are you not looking up that early? I do. That's for sure. I can't sleep in much since I turned forty-five onwards up to where I am now. I haven't been able to sleep in that late. I'm just a bit more of an early riser. Well, here's a new island. Pretty sure it's a new island. I hope it's a new island. <laughs> so you go to the same island. Oh, some boys in that one. Or oh, buoys. That's definitely one I haven't been to. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's see if we can die from a shark, shall we? How deep is it here? Uh, probably not deep enough, deep enough for a shark. A really starving shark, maybe, but... Boys. Hey, boys. Oh, what did I drop that for? Can I pick it up or not? Oh, got to break it first, you tool. Hey, good on you, man. All good. You lurk all you want. Bang. I'd stop dropping the axe. The thing about these things is you can actually put them in your inventory. Unlike everything else you get. You've got to drag it around the joint and hope the best that it doesn't go in the wrong place. Is that four? Can I let me put the last one in there or not? I bet you can't. No. I take up another inventory spot just for one boy. Alright. Let's go check out the cabin. Actually, what's upstairs? Um, I'll get mixed up with this. I'm sure there's a way of getting up there properly. But it's some t some key I'm not doing. Yeah, it's not there, right? It worked out how to go up ladders. Can't seem to get my head around it properly. It's like a combination of something. Drop my spear. 
Uh, must be a climb button or something. X. No. I asked it every other time. There we go. I've got to jump first to get up it. Take it. Nothing in it, but I'll take it. Motor part. Rations always good. Tarpaulin's got heaps of those. Uh, put some stuff away, I suppose. Start putting them on my deck of me, me boat now yeah, because I've got no room. We want to put it on that side more so than the side because I've got more buoyancy this side. If I don't put it on the right side, she starts listing off and it steers itself. Oh, you found something cool, cool. What's the label maker for? Change the name of object. Oh, is that what it's for? Is that all you can use it for? Because I've found like four of them. And I'm thinking, surely I only need one. Maybe it just wears out. I don't know. So that's cool. So you can, you can change the labels of your crates. I hope. Because that gets pretty annoying after a while. Just grab on here. Right, oh, it does, does it? Cool. So it's a big, big letters for us uh, blind people. You can't see it as easy. Nice. The trouble is now I've got to line up my bloody boxes properly because I just put them on there and some of them are upside down. A little annoying. Well, there's anything in there anyway. So we'll go back to uh, put this one there. Grab that one. Go back to our boat that seems to be listing already. Drag these buggers back this way. Whoa, shit. Uh, drop, drop, drop. What have we got? Uh, which one's the one I picked up, I wonder? That's probably the one with the hammer and the thing there, it'd be that one. Because I'm pretty sure I've already got... Uh, already got the um, galvanized iron on a different crate. Huh? That is pretty cool, man. I was thinking that actually. You're thinking. You're thinking what I was thinking. B one. I haven't seen a basketball yet, so I think that's all we're going to be stuck with. Why? Are you... oh, I could probably make the buoyancy at the back of here now. Oh, that too much trouble. Do another one on the back of there. Make out of those bu buoys. Well, I'm here. Got plenty of strappings. If I don't, I can make them up. 
Wait a second, where's that go? There it is. I think I only need one anyway. Now where's me... Where's me boys? Sound like I'm talking about something else. Uh, where do I put it on the back of it though? I've got to make it look good too. Well, don't really need to, but... No, that's right, I was going to make fishing bobbers out of them, wasn't I? Alright, we'll leave that for now. I'll see whether I can... Um, find anything else that's buoyancy. Based. Uh, I'll put that back in where it was. Where's that? So as you can see, I already already would benefit from that labelling system. All right, what have I got here? I can carry over. Probably not much at all. I think I've also got one of them, haven't I? Stop it. Why did you swap over to that? I've already got a ration somewhere or not? No, I thought I had extra rations. So it's just that one. It drives you nuts out. You can't drag anything with a spear in hand as well. I keep thinking, what's going on? I can't get a drag. So the only thing it has a right click function just to aim. Alright. Uh, let's go have a look what's on the island. Hopefully 400. Um, did I anchor that? I'm going to check that. I anchored it. I think I did. 400 potatoes, that'll be nice. Okay. That sounds like there's a shark nearby, so I'm going to run and jump. Go! Go, 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 go Mate, I've now been married, uh, wow, what is it now? We're up to 26 years? 25 or 26 years married. And it doesn't cease to amaze my other half how much mental illness I actually have. She can't, she doesn't play any game. She's not in like a PC at all. You can well imagine, ah, oh, it's potatoes. You can well imagine her reaction to any kind of gaming. And why we'll spend hours talking to someone that's not actually here but on Twitch. What would you do? Oh, yeah, serious mental health. Yeah, you'd be doing the same thing as us. Eddie, that's um, rearranging things, making it look nice and neat. It's, it's, the, it's the Sims in us. I think it's the, um, the survival... Um, a syndrome of, of having everything neat and tidy and it's your own game you know you make it your own you get around and you go oh, well, no one else is going to see this i see it all the time i don't want to see it like that i'm going to change it and you change it over and people see what you're doing and think what are you doing you know like there's so much more to the game than just making sure the boxes are sp spun around the right way potatoes um there's so much more to it why are you bothering with that but uh you know it really how you want to play it. That's what I love about sandbox games. You play it how you want to play it. Oh, nice twenty-one years, mate. Good on you. You'd be up to silver soon, or if you just did silver, I'm not sure. Yeah, so ours is a fair while. We've got uh, older children now. That looks like another potato plant, or is it one I just went to? I think it's the same one. 
um, 24, 22, 18 and 16 year old now. So um, they're all slowly but surely flying the coop and it'll just be me and the missus again, which would be nice. Not that I don't love my children, but as Addie would tell you. What's that? Oh, really? Oh, wow. I'd like to know which one it was, where she, which scene she was in. So you're in New Zealand? Or she was just over in New Zealand at the time, seven years ago? That's cool. I would have loved to have been just an, even just an extra in that. That would be awesome. Well, I think that's it for potatoes. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... The game, not the movie. Oh. Oh, okay, sorry. I thought she was actually in New Zealand in the, in the actual movie, far out. Because it would be probably about seven or so years ago, wouldn't it, now since the movie's been out? Probably ten on my lack of time... Um, time, uh, what do you call it? Keeping an eye on. Oh, more potatoes, yeah. Bring on the potatoes. I want to save it and play around with the gyrocopter to show you guys what's, how much fun it is. Really took off without looking for them. Uh, either that, I've been running around so much it's just regrowed. Alright, so we're going to spin around and go back the other way. Uh, do I want to make an attempt? Because I, I heard there was a shark nearby. Let's go make an attempt for this little bit over here. Hope we don't step on an urchin or anything. Let's see if there's a box in this. They're getting killed, hopefully. Too shallow to be killed by a shark anyway, I think. No, it's not like there's any in this in this wreckage. So like a lifeboat or something. Life, uh, not a life raft, but a get off because we're sinking boat. Oh, that is a sharky noise. Get out of the water. Very arsehole. I swear it's the same friggin' one. I'm gonna start calling it. Um, Trevor or something just keeps lurking. Trevor, what's that one in the cartoons? I think of his name. Yeah, wouldn't it? What's in the crate? What's in the crate? Nothing usually. Nothing in here, usual. Someone gets to them before me. I don't know who it is. Don't step on that. That door. So you can hit the container wall, knock them off, and then grab them if you really want them. I don't know. I've just sort of gone off the idea until I start making a really big mansion, maybe, or something like that. I um, haven't bothered to do much with the container walls that I've even collected already. they got a massive door, so I guess you can use it as a shed. I wasn't meant to drop that, I was meant to pick up this. Thank you. Mind you, I have got like about five or six torches, I don't know how you're going. Bruce! That's his name. I call him Bruce, he keeps bloody following me everywhere. Fish of friends, not food. I don't see any variations of sharks, obviously the smaller sharks and then you get the tiger shark, which is the most um, active shark in the game, but I don't see any hammerheads or grey nurses or things like that. I guess I'm just going to have to add them as time goes on. Alright, let's we'll skim off to that right island, I reckon, to see what that does. Right, if I don't get killed by the shark, because I'm a little way out. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Yeah. 
Music stop there. There you go. See? I knew it. Friggin' What's that again? Bruce is here again. All right. How much luck are we going to have going in that direction without hitting the island? Which way is the wind going? Or is it going to list off and go in a different direction that I want to go in? We'll see. It's going to list off. Come on, turn, 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 don't you dare, you did anyway. Okay, well, that didn't work very well. Where's the motor? I know we're stuck, okay. This happens when your crates are all front heavy. The trouble is when you push them, it also puts the crates back. It's just a bug. Yeah, gotta love that. Oh, because the sail's on, you idiot. Turn that sail off. That might work now. Find the sail with the motor. Told you I was a good sailor. A sailor. Which way do I want to go? Oh, I wouldn't. I? The only other bonus with the motor is the fact that you can actually drive in whichever direction you want. Oh, there you go, it's a nice sunset. Or run into something real hard like that. I think I was going to go that way anyway, wasn't I? What are you doing? I still haven't drank anything, have I? Go get some coconuts on the next place. Okay, so that's not going to work. I have to rearrange my deck. She's not working very well. Oh, sunk a bit there. Should we use that now out there anyway? It's going to be the same. Let's go. Alright, I think I've done it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I want to try that relabeling sharks. Mm. I think uh, relay. I think I'll leave it to you to relabel a snake and a shark for me. I'll I'll try and do the the uh, the pigs. See how we go. Hello, mate. Here he is. Do you see him? Bruce he's, he's on my tail again. Where are you, little asshole? He's gone. Good. This is either an island I haven't been to or it's my own island. I can't think. It looks like it's mine. It's got two peaks on it. It's only got one peak on mine, so it must be a different island. Uh, <sighs> I best drink before I die. You've noticed also, I'm guessing, um, telling me the um, uh, coconuts. You can really only have two, eat and drink. If you have any more than that, you chuck it up or you throw up. Because of, uh, I guess, you know, nature's lax laxative or something. You fart? It's quite funny, really. I know I shouldn't say this, but it's the worst time for a storm. We don't need a storm right now. I end up losing my load, and I've got so much gear. Well, not a lot, but I just don't want to lose it. All right, stop there. Uh, we've got an empty, but I haven't.
I've got empty. We sure got something with spuds in it already, so we're going to do that. Definitely have planks. The spuds in it. That one something's got spuds in it somewhere. There's the spuds gone. Or am I carrying both? I'm carrying all three. Going there. Take you. Let's go adventuring. Take that. Uh, some wood. Never been here before. No empty coconuts around the place. Some more wood. Is that an empty coconut? I think that is, isn't it? Ah, oh, it's a stone. I don't think I need to have the torch in hand. If you lo lost it, you could just dive down for it. No biggie. Mark the spot by dropping anchor and waiting out the storm. Ah. Uh, only other time it's ever happened to me is when there's a shark there, and the shark doesn't seem to want to go away unless you actually go away from it. Like onto an island. It seems to stick around for ages. I lost a crate off of one of the islands. I don't remember what was in it. Um, probably something handy. That's right, I was going to get some water on it. I mean, some coconut juices. Do that one, I'll remember. Gonna roll down the end of the island again. Uh, how's my food looking? Oops, wrong button. Down. Might as well eat the coconuts as well. Uh, not sure if it's four or two of these shells I can eat. I think it's four. See if I find out in a minute. I haven't seen one one hit me yet. Ah, oh. ah, oh, mate, that's Yummy. so. It's definitely only two coconut shells you can eat. A bit disgusting. What did that do to me? Ah, oh, dehydrated me. I think I brought some water. Drinks left in there. I think I just got a little. No, nah. just drank all my water. Go through dehydration like crazy. Let's get something done and get home. Um, potatoes, piggies. Actually, that'll help my food if I to kill them. This is going to be fun. You will love how I do this. I haven't found a better way yet because I haven't really made anything decent. Now you gotta get it off them. Where are you? Come here. And because I haven't got around this island much, I'll probably run into a snake. There we go. The trail is really handy. You lose track of them and you find the trail real quick. I've learned not to do it near the um near the rocks because it destroys your spear. Come here, Miss Piggy. Where'd you go there? I got him? I got him. Alright, let's do something really gross and skin it. Apparently it's pretty gross to him. Oh, it's disgusting. Oh, it's disgusting. Yummy. 
All right, no room in the inventory for that. Did I pick that up? I don't want that. That was a bit silly. Must have did that in my rant of trying to catch him. Badly dehydrated. Thanks to my uh, ex expedition with, um, what do you call it? With um, the laxative that is. Coconuts. I'm not going to actually go after that one. Cut off for some potatoes. Because that's what I really, really want. It's potatoes. Oh, there he is there. Oh, that's tempting. Ah, screw it. Where is he? There he is. Headshot. Runs off with a spear in his head. I'll just let it run run it out first and see if I can find some more. No, that's a soundboard, man. I've got a soundboard for stuff. That is Ace Ventura, pet detective. What's on the ship? Oh, we got barrels, you beauty. What a shame I don't have more things I can drink. Oh, go down. There we go. One barrel overboard. Oh no, one barrel overboard. I said. Hey, overboard. Okay. Now you're starting to annoy me. Right. Now don't go in the water. Thank you. One barrel. Two barrels. Three barrels. Flotation device. To make our thing float even more. Why has the music changed? Don't want your engine part. We've got five of those so far. We'll take. Uh, I've already got a torch, but I can stack that. I'll take the torch, even though I've got like 15 of them. Um, don't think we're doing any, any underneath, so we'll grab these barrels and move them up shore. Oh, get over that rock. There we go. Wait, I'll go bring that over to the. HMAS plummet. I'll park the stupid thing. I think it's doing that because my health is getting really low. The opposite side of the island. Whoa, two snakes. We'll be killing them on my way back. There's no real quick way of making uh, water, which really sucks, um, outside of carrying it with you. I'd say I'm a bit annoyed with that, um, outside of obviously coconuts, which run the risk of a laxative. I'm not going to get that back in time, so I'm going to drop that. some more of that hopefully it won't give me any more problems so early in life oh look at that that's why I'm on my very last legs I can however cook the meat quickly I don't think it's gonna make a huge impact though because I've got three bars of meat I just don't have the water I'm going to go with another coconut. Hopefully I won't 
give me any kind of really bad adverse effects. No, good. I think it's only when you eat it. I should probably do that back in the house. Just eat, uh, drink a lot of them and see how many you have before you throw them up. Oh, no worries, man. Have a good day, buddy. Thanks for coming along as usual. In the head. See that shot? And that's gone. Yeah. <laughs> that other snake go. I don't like snakes. Only good snakes are dead ones. Yeah, should I bring the boat around? Such a long way to go. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get that one. What have we got? Holy testicle Tuesday. That's when someone actually follows me. Um, you've heard that one. Bye -bye, also got. If it works, it's not another drive, so it's cycling up. <laughs> that was good timing. I missed the spear and it laughed at me. All right, get your CR. Barrel. I oh, can't do it with that. That's right. Has to be that. All right, let's go. We've also got this one. I fart in your general direction. This one. And this one. You're off too, Addy. It is a weeknight. We're in at 11 o'clock. All good. Thanks a lot for coming along. I appreciate it. I will um, do a couple of bits and pieces, head back to my island and head off myself because I've got to work too. Well, actually, I don't have to work tomorrow, which is nice. So I might be a bit later, but it's nice to have some people on that I know. Some um, casual followers. It's always good. It's nice to, have, nice to have new people too, but you know, it all comes in time. I'm only six off affiliate. Ticked every other box. Everyone likes chatting to each other. Done certainly enough streaming in the last few days. Where is the uh, snack going to? Is there any somewhere? There he is. I need to kill that snack before I step on it. He's fast, this one. Don't know where he went to. A stick or a snake? Stick to the sand so I can see I don't step on the bugger. It's probably shorter. Oh, it's right next to. My God, it's right next to it on the other side. I'm going right around the island. I don't actually need to. Wake up, Australia. It's over here. I see where you left now. I wouldn't stick around. Someone's going to keep running around the island that you don't actually need to do. Okay, uh, some lanyard stuff. Other things. I made enough lashings. Oh, there, there we are. I think I only need one. Oh, I need a hammer. That is a good thing that I did get a hammer. I can't use it. Pick her up. Alright. 
Oh yeah, let's make you into a barrel-y thing. Where are we going to put it? The back of the boat. Come on, get on the boat. Where I want to put it. Let me do that. Or won't let me do it because I've got the outboard happening. Well, let me put it there. Well, let me put it there. It will. Nice. Okay, we're getting there slowly. Means we can drag some of these over this way without sinking. We'll get out of here. Probably don't need too much more than that. Alright, let's get out of here. How much luck am I going to have getting out of here? We need to go to that island, I think. Pretty sure. Without an anchor down would be a good idea. Oh, did I lose any boxes? Hopefully not. Get them in the middle a bit more. Not always good to run around and all the boxes come at you. all set up and it's getting rough that's not always good Probably could make one. I think I've got the time for it. right might be okay yet it is steering okay with them that it's right where they are we do have a fair bit of chop though not sure if it'll come off the deck if I do this guess we'll know in a minute Probably use my um, outboard motor, make sure I don't not get back. Oh, we, we travel along pretty good actually. Pretty sure my island's further than this thing, but I will go close to this island and check it. Check that I'm not going straight past my own island. Probably going to die on my way back.
I think I'm going to need a couple of bladders of water next time around, not just one. Just in case I'm stupid enough to drink the water, uh, drink the, uh, or eat the coconuts too many times. That's a, that's a storm. Yeah, yeah, I know. Stop at this island here. For some waters. Some coconuts. Don't die on me. Whoa, shit. Stop. Thank you. Don't really want to lose my cargo. What world can't you hit a coconut with a hammer? Rations. I got rations. I should eat some rations. Not on me. Get more of that shit when I can. Ah, oh, what are you doing? You know, I want to keep that one uh, going to the island with it. Alright, let's get shopping. Sit down on this island.
It has its effects, I mean. Is that a dead snake? Yeah, it is too. That means I've already been here. Phoenix regrind. And that I'm close to home. Yep, been here. So we're retracing our steps. That's the next island, I think. Pretty sure. So we'll go to that. You know, it wasn't a storm like I thought it might be.
on our way home. Oh. Winker shark or something? Where is he? Excuse me. Oh, don't eat it, you kid. Jeez, didn't want to eat it. Oh well. Saved it. To where I don't eat the potato.
Ooh, why are we there for a second? And just to shut myself up a bit. Oh, two more. Flap, nice. Ah, uh, what's died here? A pippy plant's died. Damn it.
Oh no. He died that quickly. Bastard. Oh well. Get me ho. Alright, that's it for me tonight. It was a quick one today, unfortunately. Sorry if you just joined. Thanks for coming along. Uh, all the guys that came over. It was great having a community again. Um, don't forget to subscribe. We'll be back up again operational tomorrow, probably a couple of hours earlier than now. So, by all means, come along. Have some fun. Um... Plenty of good times to be had. Um, yeah, all I could say is uh, for that fourth viewer. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. It's not coming up on the system here, so I'm not sure who that is. But other than that, um, I do wish you uh, the best of luck getting in a little bit earlier next time around. Sorry we weren't uh, going for a bit more time. Uh, cog whistle, I think it is. Oh. Uh, a few other people there so um yeah so sorry about that guys um i will be uh, as i said back on again two or three hours from now the following day um which is the next eight to twelve hours time um again uh streaming uh this particular game seems to be pretty good so there's quite a lot to it um more than i expected so um yeah thanks for coming Sorry I weren't uh, going for a bit longer, but I need my beauty sleep. I've got to work. I will catch up with you guys next time. See you soon.